Tim McCormick from Humble Acres Organics, and I wanted to talk to you today about our compost that we make, our chicken manure compost, and our blooming easy. And the first thing we want everybody to understand is that they're both the same product. Uh, it's just a size different. The, the chicken manure compost is a 50-pound bag, and it, and uh, Bloomin' Easy is more of a 40-pound bag, so that it's just easier for people to, to, to tote around and move. Let me say first of all that our uh, compost is made up of a, a multiple different things. We use some wood, uh, Sanders dust, what we call Sanders dust, we, which would be like a, uh, a sawdust, but it's finer. We use some wood ash. We use some coffee beans uh, from local uh, coffee makers, manufacturers here in South Carolina. And uh, sometimes we use some straw and hay. And then we'll put our chicken manure with it. Then it has to be only 30% chicken manure and about 70% of other things, other carbon sources. And during them first couple of weeks, we're usually adding more water to it to keep that heat up. And uh, we're turning it five times, at least five times. And that makes it meet the organic production standards. Uh, the carbon to nitrogen ratio has to be 30 to one is, was first thing. The second thing is we have to get the heat over 131 degrees for two weeks. And then we have to turn it at least five times in those two weeks. And that meets the organic production standard. We do hatching eggs. So we feed some calcium to the birds and some phosphorus to the birds to make those shells hard. And so that calcium digested through the bird, it's digested through the composting process. So it basically works faster than you would find a lime product that you would buy to do the same thing. So we got, got good, good uh, fertility across the board, no plant, no root burn, no plant burn. Um, it holds a lot of water. It, it's just like a sponge. It takes up water um, and holds on to it and meters it back out. We've grown organic strawberries and the the organ the compost was enough to carry it all the way to flowering and once it began to flower and i'm talking about number of blooms it it we grew the vegetables but they had some green tips so we wanted to we had to add a soluble source of potassium which is to, to finish out and get that root uh get that uh, green tip off and that was just in strawberries but but what we found was the plant is is producing so fast if you've got a number of tomato blooms if you got str number of strawberry blooms the plant is trying to fill that fruit and the compost is there and but it's not as is soluble enough at that point and so we would add some some liquid fish is is an organic product there's there's other types of organic products that are soluble and you would add that to your water and you could drench them or you could put it in your irrigation water and that went then you would uh, fulfill the fruit fill out the fruit faster and uh so that's the value of the compost it'll get it all the way but but on a tomato or um a strawberries or something like that to finish that fruit it needs a little help some soluble fertilizer greens beans anything like that uh, you wouldn't need any additional fertilizer you got a product here that's probably one of the one of the most economical because it's made here in south carolina it's also available in a number of stores around the state you can find this product at cold creek uh, nurseries on hitchcock parkway in aiken south carolina